Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 22nd of 2024 is titled Chameleon Dark Nebulas. So what do we see here? Well, as you might guess, we see a dark nebula. Now, a dark nebula is actually a dusty area, a concentration of dust that blocks out the light from behind it. Now, you can see that here, as you can see through some of the dust where it's a little bit thinner, and you can see stars behind. But when you get to the denser concentrations of dust, you'll note that nothing is actually seen through them. So those very dark, dense knots are blocking out light from behind it. So are there stars behind? behind there? Most likely. Are we ever going to be able to see them? Well, certainly not in our lifetimes or in dozens of lifetimes. It will take hundreds of thousands of years for the new stars to be able to form to clear out and clear away the dust that has formed here previously. Now, when we see the dust, that's a sign of star formation. So in those darker knots are where stars are currently forming right now. Now, some stars have already formed. And in fact, we see the bright star Beta Chameleontis, which is the bright star toward the upper right. Now, this star is the uh, is a relatively bright and hot star showing very distinct blue colors. And in fact, the, in fact, the blue color around it is caused by dust that is reflecting light from the star. Now when the light is reflected off of the dust grains, the dust grains are very good at scattering and reflecting blue light, which is a shorter wavelength, and not so good at reflecting the longer wavelengths of red light. And that makes this nebula appear blue. And it's what we call a reflection nebula because of the way that it forms. Now, you might wonder where this dust comes from in space. Well, first of all, dust in space is not like household dust that we have here on Earth. It's simply slightly larger clumps of material, a little bit larger than individual molecules or even atoms. So it's a little bit larger than those and can have a central grain core and can have a mantle of icy material around it. So it's like an extremely tiny little object out in space. But these are much smaller than typical household dust. Now, they are formed within the atmospheres of stars. Now you'd wonder how that would be possible. How can an intense heat of an atmosphere of a star allow something like this to form? Well, it's in the very outer atmospheres of stars that are cool. The very coolest star, giant stars are able to form molecules there, which then get expelled out into space and give us the dust that we see. So they're actually formed in stars. They can then be expelled back outward in a supernova explosion, which expels all that material out into space as one example to become seed material for future generations of stars. So the dust that combines into a star will eventually then be torn apart and down to its constituent atoms as it becomes part of a star. But here we get to see it as dust scattered throughout this region of space. So that was our picture of the day for July 22nd of 2024. It was titled Chameleon Dark Nebulas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Chandra Crab 25. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.